side. Duff. Like that. Why have I done that? Bang. Oh, my, I've hit my best ever. Well done. Next one. Duff. I did the same swing. Now at the end of my range session, I'm back to square one, I'm coming over the top again, and I think, well, that was a waste of money, it's like the last of 24 hours. And they're all about half the distance of what they used to go. So I don't know what's happened in terms of... There's just big not power using, leaks yeah. everywhere. There's loads going on that's losing power. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to do like a complete reset. Look at that. And again, out there to the right, you're going to finish more out there. That shot. You've been pulling back on the range for so long. <laughs> That. There's so many things you're doing which are disadvantaging your performance yeah. mechanically. Yeah. We've got lots of power leaks and what we're going to do is instead of thinking about this is a fault, this is a fault, this is a fault yeah, yeah. and then spending a lesson just going over all these faults, we just do a complete reset where we let the body reorganise itself efficiently yeah. around. I feel like every time I, f I find this eureka moment I've got a foundation, I go back the next day thinking oh just do what he said, if I can get this into muscle memory I'm going to be a good player. Yeah. Bang. Oh, it sliced it. What? So I'm sure I did that thing he said. It was here. Maybe I didn't do it enough. Yeah, here. Yeah. And then by the end of now, the end of my range session, I'm back to square one. I'm coming over the top again, and I think, well, that was a waste of money. It's not even lasted 24 hours. No. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll try and grind it out for another month, trying to fix it myself, tweaks it again, and then again 24 hours later, because you're just getting put in positions. It's like duff. Why have I done that? Bang. Oh, my, I've hit my best ever. Next one, duff. I did the same swing. It's not having any kind of understanding. No, and reference awareness, awareness for what you're doing. I don't know if it's because the ball's static. Everything that's moving, it seems easier. Tennis, cricket, you name it. And then yeah. you put a ball static. You know, practice swing's lovely. Put a ball there, I see the ball. Suddenly my club's a sledgehammer. Yeah. I'm slowing down before I get to the ball. As soon as I've hit the ball, my swing's finished. Okay. And I'm over here. Yeah. And I tell myself a million times, it's a swing, not a hit. Swing. Yeah, yeah. My brain won't listen to myself when it's there. <laughs> just recognise those just, instructions. Yeah, it just goes, no, Adam, we're going to hit this. <laughs> I go, no, just swing. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I am. It's a system uh, malfunction. Yeah. Let's hit a few balls, warm up. Okay. Just a bit iron. Like that. They're all about half the distance as what they used to go. Right. But I'm putting in more effort. Yeah. yeah. It's not good. No problem. Take your time, Adam. A few more. Just loosen it up. Yeah. Oh. Say, so I have misses everywhere. Yeah. Every every way possible. Well done. Short there. Yeah, there's a lot of effort going in for nothing. Not a lot of output. And I'd really That's a strike that one. I really have to feel that I'm putting a lot in for nothing now. Yeah, it's like 100 yards. Yeah. That's an eight, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh, that. And then the left one, yeah. yeah. So I don't know what's happened in terms of. There's just big not power leaks yeah. everywhere. And there's a lot. See, the mat saves me. Yeah. When I'm out on there, obviously. I hit the floor quite a lot before. Yeah. Because I'm putting the power in there, then sliding down. Rather than and the low point's too far back. Yeah. Rather than sweeping, I tried to think in my head just to sweep out. Yeah. Well, that was too poor because I tell my mind to do one thing and it does something else, <laughs> and then I get more frustrated and then I try and hit it more because I know I can't get it further. Yeah, yeah. But at the minute I can't. And that way. Like I said, I can hit everything apart from a, a true draw. The shot you want, where you started right, yeah. right drawing back. <laughs> yeah. You said you wanted the stock draw, yeah. you started right drawing back. Yeah, a true draw would be nice. We've got obviously a path to the left. I need to get rid so of that if I can. If your face squares up to the path, it's a pull. Yeah. It's a little bit steep, it's low point before the ball. It's the floor. If you do strike, it's an open phase, it pops up and it goes right, you're losing distance because you're glancing across it Correct. in an open phase. Yeah, yeah. So it spins up. So there's loads going on that's losing power. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to do like a complete reset. There's so many things you're doing which are disadvantaging your performance. Yeah. 
mechanically. Yeah. We've got lots of power leaks, and what we're going to do is we're going to reset. So instead of thinking about this is a fault, this is a fault, this is a fault, yeah, yeah. and then spending a lesson just going over all these faults, we just do a complete reset where we let the body reorganise itself efficiently yeah. around a very dynamic task. What that's going to do, that's going to afford us an opportunity to completely reinvent. So what you previously did, it's a reference, but it's of no meaning moving forward. Yeah, yeah. Because everything you've been doing is only serving to hinder you mm. and inhibit your performance. You've got athletic skill set. The thing is, is you're actually making a disadvantaged mechanism work. Yeah. So <laughs> you've got an open, so the face is wide open, yeah. you're swinging left, you're swinging steep, yeah. but you still make it work. Yeah, and there's times when, to, yeah, yeah. because of your hand-eye coordination and because of your, of your carrier skill set, you're able to optimise it in a way that gives you a level of competence to play, yeah. but it's nowhere near your potential. No. So what we've got to do is we're, you, you kind of, you're making the best of a bad job, basically, with, yeah. with, with what you're doing. And I say bad job, I don't mean it's a bad swing, I just mean you're not moving in a way that matches your intention. Yeah. That's what we're going to do, we're going to find the most efficient patterns that, that you're capable of. Yeah. So we're going to start off on the board, okay. and we're going to start off just getting you essentially recognising what economy of movement is. So what's it feel like to actually use the body in a much more effortless way? I just want you to just notice how you use the board. You'd have to keep the arms straight and rigid, just okay. let the club swing, let the wrist go. So you get like a little snap at the bottom of the club head. That's it. Nice, there's a weight shift. Now right hand, just put your right hand, just, just your right, so nice and easy, back and forth. I know it's not your dominant hand, but that's brilliant. Good, on the way back, let your elbow bend, Adam. So you're just using your levers, that's it. Good, so there's a snap then at the bottom, it's like, there we go, brilliant. Different feel already. Yeah, I'm just trying to think how I could change that into a swing. Don't try to <laughs> relate this shape right, to okay, swing. Okay. And I just want you to twist your feet and then let your arms swing. So the arms follow it. So the twisting of the feet will swing your arms and your arms will just slap against your body. The disco first. Ah. There we go. Ooh, well done. <laughs> Now, just take your club. Hi everyone, hope you're well. We've got a fantastic golf trip coming up. We had a brilliant trip at the Belfry and another amazing trip in Turkey, our first international one. And now we've got another one coming up at the end of January and it's in Abu Dhabi. If you follow the link below, you can get all the information. It's gonna be an amazing time, an amazing location. Obviously fantastic weather. Four days of full intense coaching, the full experience. I hope you can make it, check the details. and We we'll look forward to seeing you there. Just step onto the carpet in front, just have a few swings in the air. No ball, just back and forth. Different feel? Yeah, I feel like my legs are doing it's something. It's totally different. <laughs> Does it look different? <laughs> Massively. Does it? Play a shot for me there, just don't worry about that. Just no. nudge them back behind you a little bit. And just play a shot. Because what you're using there is the friction of the ground. Well done. Okay. So what you're feeling is that traction and how your body's moving to use that traction to rotate exactly. Yeah, I feel if I had socks on I'd slip. Yes, exactly. That's the feeling I'm yeah. getting, that, like I'm pushing in my shoes. You are pushing, yeah, against the ground to twist. Yeah, that's it, so it twists the body. There we go, brilliant. So straight away what we're starting to involve now are the hips. Hamstrings, quads, glutes, it's the glutes that are the big drivers of the swing. They're massive rotators of the hips. So without them, we're, we're missing out on vital muscle power. Yeah, well that's the first time I've done two swings and I feel like my legs are involved. We know, if I can borrow your club, yeah, of you're currently hitting the ball yeah. on this arc, yeah? And we're gonna go to this one. Yeah, that's where I want to be. Yeah, yeah, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some of these balls away. We know what this is like, Yeah. okay? We're going to take those two away. We're going to stand up to this one. Yeah. And then we're going to take these two away. And we're going to play this one. Okay. I just want you to play it. First of all, I'm going to put these in. And do I play it off my back foot like you are? Yeah. What we're going to do is you're going to be hooking. I've so never seen a hook from me. <laughs> so what you're going to do first is we're going to recognise what it's like to hook the ball. Just take your setup to the middle ball so you can see the arc there. I'm going to leave those two there. Okay. I'm going to take these two away. Yeah. And I'm going to take that one away. Okay. And I'm going to take that one. And that one. Put your club head behind that ball for me. And just play that one. Wow. Yeah. 
I feel that's going to hit there. Yeah, it might do. Very good. Ball started right. Yeah, and stayed right. And then <laughs> faded a bit, okay? Yeah. Your face was just a bit open. So what we've got to recognise is what's it like to close that face? Because this club face has to have rotated before you get to the ball. We're not just snapping it closed at impact and hoping it's going to be square. Because basically <laughs> what happens is there, you've got such a high amount of rotation so late in the action, just before the ball, at high speed over a short distance, it's like it's not controllable. Like tennis, you don't just go like that at the end. No. It's starting to rotate here. Yeah, yeah. And then, so it's a controlled rotation. This exercise is going to give you the perception here, the visual of an arc. Yeah. Just take your set up that middle ball again. This time we're going to go even further back. Oh, so now that one. Put the club behind there for me and see if you can play that. Right. Well done. That was hard. Yeah, it's <laughs> very, very hard. Notice though, it didn't fade. Yeah. Just a push. Keep that there. Now that one. There we go. And then out. Off we go. Well done. So a straight push. Yeah. Okay, so you're starting to get better with the club face. You've just got a heavy bias to the left with your swing. And that's what you've normalised as fairly straight. Yeah, yeah. You know it's left. Yeah, but no, feel-wise, yeah. your body's kind of normalised that as this is a straight swing. Yeah. We're going to the right. So just take your grip again. Yeah, sure. Now just swing back for me. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing down and we're imagining we're hitting that ball here yeah. with the toe of the club, but not this way, uh. okay? You're swinging forward because that allows you to keep the club going out this way. As Soon as you do this, see the club comes in towards you? And that's when So I now your path goes left and you're adding loft and right. going left. Yeah. That's how I've been when you're doing this, can you see the club's still going out, still travelling out there? Very different feeling, isn't it? That? Yeah. Imagine the club that's following right. the arc. Look at that. And let it rotate. Yes. Brilliant. Look at that. Yeah, and let it rotate. Brilliant. And without even thinking, notice how your legs and body are moving, how your hips yeah, are moving. So <laughs> you, your body's moving to facilitate the yeah. intention of this release pattern. This kind of arc here. Yeah would give you the feeling of swinging over here. Brilliant. That's a bit of a draw. And again, you've never really given yourself permission to swing the club. You've tried controlling it all the time. You can really feel like you're swinging out to the right. That's it. Shot. Brilliant. <clears throat> Look how far that's gone. Yeah, that's a lot better. That was the first one you've let your club head swing out to the right. You can actually feel like you're swinging over to that fairway. <clears throat> Look at that. Beautiful shot. So what you're starting to explore is all this space here that previously has never been used. I've always been scared of this space. Yeah. Because it's, it goes hand in hand with my fault. Of course it does. So the more I think about it, I go further left. And obviously then the ball goes further right or misses everywhere. Because I'm always worried about hitting right. When you pick a racket up and play tennis or you have lessons or, you know, as a kid, you automatically know like a football, if you kick it on this yeah. end, it'll spin. But then so, for some odd reason, put this in my hand and it's, Instead of doing my normal, well, if you want to spin it that yeah. way, then you've got to hit it and turn. I, mean, no. I just don't do it. <laughs> Conceptually, we've changed the task. How do we start to get the path out to the right without all that effort? Now what I want you to do is twist your hips. Good. And notice the pads are hardly moving. That's not using the ground. So now we're going to walk back and forth like this and use the walking action to twist the belt hook up. And that's how we're going to get the rotation. Excellent. And that's how we transfer weight too. Look at that. Now step back onto the mat behind you and just feel that with the ground. Feel the difference? Yeah. It's like it's snapping. Look at that. And again, out there to the right. You're going to finish more out to the right. Look at that. Have a couple of shots. Look at that. That felt nice. That was awesome. So you can let your weight shift that way. Put your wrist and your elbow weight all follow. Use your levers, then drop, and then pop. And that will release the levers, and then drop and pop. There we go, drop and pop. Fantastic. Now that's different. And that's how you do it. That's using the ground up and down to release well, it, your levers. Yeah, it whips the club through on its own, yeah. doesn't it? Brilliant, no hook. Oh, wow. I've there never you go. Hit. There we go. <laughs> that, that's the result if I look at it. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> because now your finish matches up to the rest of the swing. Amazing, that. Sure. Look at that. I feel like I'm stretching more. 
because I'm generally very sh bad And all that short. stretch has got a place to swing the club to now. It's got a, it's got a recognisable finish for the shape of shot you want because you, now you've got a destination. So just pop outside with me yeah. so you can use the dipper. So what you're going to do, you're going to walk up to it now. That's the one, two, three, four, and then the swing. So you're going one, two, three, four. Oh, oh. You're bending forward on one, right. bending into the shot, into your posture, but then everything moves, look. Two, you're over here. Yeah. This can move on two, because your weight's over here. Ready to go back on three, through on four, into a finish on five. One, two, three, four. So take your grip first, have a little waggle, and then as you walk up, one, two, three, four. Oh. Hold it. Yeah, I want you to count in your mind. Right, okay. You're going to count your steps. You can have the board there and you can be walking onto the board. So just walking on, that's it. So you're going one, two, three, four. Well done. That's awesome. It's just when there's a ball there. Yeah, <laughs> look, you've got, the thing is, the movement is fantastic. The only thing that's stopping this is what your intention is. Yeah. So. Have another go. Can I swing it that fast when I'm doing a swing? Yeah, it? absolutely. Because I always get told to slow down. That just makes it more conscious and chunked. Any kind of ballistic action, you don't want to slow it down. That's all I ever get told, so I've got to a point now where I just go. Yeah. Where is so, it? My natural one, I want to go. Look at that. That's yes. what I want to do. And that's what you've got to do. Yeah, that was good. Your low point was just too far back, so let yourself shift like the walking. There you go. Sharp. Yeah. How far that's gone? That's better. That's You're committed. Fine. You've been pulling back on the reins for so long. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, you've really got to just like, let them go. Yeah, and I'm not trying to slow my swing down then, whereas yeah. I have been all this time. Right, you've got to let yourself shift. Look at that. Shot. Look at the finish. And a little club, and a little club <laughs> twirl. <laughs> the golfing mic drop. You're expressing yourself freely and you've You've connected yeah. the feeling of the movement with the actual shot. That's brilliant. Narrower. Out to the right. Like that. What a shot. Nice one. <laughs> the strike's different, isn't it? Yeah. It's lower. Rather than just ballooning up 200 yards and dropping. Look at that. Shot. That's it. Full finish. And there you go, there's the finishing balance. So what you were doing there was the self-talk's totally changed. Yeah and you, you've re -cued your movement and you're dropping all the technical kind of attachments yeah. all this protocol your body they do everything for you and you made a balanced finish and you're even club twirling yeah do you want to just grab your driver yeah, and sure. then because i'll show you the, the driver just bring a couple of